My coverage of Computex 2019 is sponsored by Techware, providing quality computer and gaming products. Dergod. Now these guys have been a somewhat recent entrant into the mechanical keyboard market and I've received a heap of requests to review their keyboards and yes, I will eventually do that. For their age, they actually have a solid range of mechanical keyboards. Their 10 keyless Taurus range has been very popular. They had a ton of versions including non-backlit, white backlit and RGB lighting as well. And their design aesthetic is very simple, clean and traditional which I personally love. And as such, they follow the standard plastic enclosure with an internal steel plate, so the build quality is great for the price you pay. And they feature double shot PBT keycaps with matching clean typefaces or fonts. And their full size Taurus range is just a bigger version with the numpad. The Gemini range just involves more of that RGB lighting, so they have a strip of light going around the keyboard but really, it's more of the same. What really caught my eye were the new keyboards that I think they said were going to be released this year, and they're going towards the smaller keyboards, which is awesome to see. The 60% is, well, a beautiful aluminium 60% keyboard. The bezels are pretty thin, with the header being a bit thicker to accommodate the indicator LEDs, but again, it is aluminium, so it's super solid. It has RGB backlighting, double shot PBT keycaps with a nice and clean font for the legends, making this very sellable. I'm not sure if it has standard standoff locations, but the cable is left aligned, so it probably is standard. Probably. And then with pretty much the exact same design aesthetic, they had a 65%. So this just adds the dedicated arrow keys, which I love, and is a must for a lot of people, being an easy choice over the 60%. And some nav keys on the right hand side as well. Interestingly, on the back of this one, it shows a collaboration between them and Z Frontier. Z Frontier is well known in the custom mechanical keyboard community, as they sell high-end customs and keycaps and all that, so it was really surprising to see them have this partnership. And how do you make a standard 65% better? Add another column. By adding another column, we get a few more nav keys on the right hand side, and the right shift is now full sized. But the bottom row is a bit odd on the left side of the spacebar. We actually saw a very similar keyboard at the Royal Kludge booth that also had an aluminium case, but the design was different and the layout was a tad different as well. And to be honest, it just looks cool, mainly because it's a bit different, therefore it looks nice. Again, the exact same design as the 60% and 65% boards, but just a bit bigger, and I love it. Hopefully I can get my hands on this keyboard one day. When I saw the Dergod booth in the distance, I knew of their TKL and full size range, but when I saw the smaller keyboards with the aluminium builds, I was pleasantly surprised and left happy. Unfortunately, being a relatively unknown brand, the booth was pretty empty, like, when I was filming, I was the only person there for most of the time, and yeah, the booth design was pretty poor because it was so closed and uninviting, so hopefully they learned from that because their boards were amazing. Big thanks again to Techware for supporting my coverage of Computex 2019. More stuff to come, so stay tuned.